Washington has a storied baseball history, and the Nationals could possibly add to it one of its most memorable moments yet. But it's easy to forget that this team has only existed in the DMV for the last 15 years. So we decided to take a detailed look at their history by taking a deep dive into the WUSA 9 archives. It lights out on baseball in the nation's capital. The year was 1971. The Washington Senators had just announced plans to leave town. That decision left their passionate fan base with nothing. When furious fans stormed the field and strangled an effigy of owner Bob Short, who'd sold the Senators out to Texas. For years, D.C. would go without a baseball team, but that void would finally be filled when an opportunity would present itself from the north. The mayor says at 4.05 this afternoon, he got the word from Major League Baseball, the Montreal Expos will be moving to Washington. Nearly 33 years to the day since they left, baseball is back in Washington, D.C. <laughs> The newly named Nationals would soon become the talk of the town. They've already sold 13,000 season tickets. I've been a baseball fan since I was a little kid. I'm looking at something beautiful, something I never thought that I would ever see again. The Nats played their first game at RFK. But while local fans began to fall in love again with baseball, a political fight brewed. The children, our hospitals, our schools, first, then baseball. Why can't the owners pay at least for part of this? At the heart of Wilson Building discussion, should district taxpayers pay hundreds of millions of dollars to build the Nats a new stadium? I think this is the biggest stick-up by Major League Baseball since Jesse James and Great Train Robbery. Ultimately, Nats Park supporters yes. Council Member Brazil votes, yes. got their way. Next year, they'll move here to the new Nationals Park. It's still under construction right now, but it'll be a $600 million state-of-the-art stadium that's a baseball fan's dream. The Nationals played their first game on the banks of the Anacostia in March 2008. And that night, everything would go right. We couldn't have written a better script than Ryan Zimmerman, the walk-off home run to win the game, first game ever in Nationals Park. President of the United States throws out the first ball. It was just simply amazing. And fans all across the DMV were ready to win. Team's going to have an excellent breakout year in the new stadium. I think it'll be a good year if they can break even. But for years, victories would be hard to come by. That is, until the Nats eventually acquired some more big-name stars. Players like Jason Wirth, Max Scherzer, and a certain baseball phenom, from Las Vegas. Have some fun out there opening day and really, you know, take it in with all the fans and be here with my family. Around that time, the Nats would finally make the playoffs while running through multiple managers in the process. However, by the time 2019 rolled around, uncertainty clouded Washington. Star outfielder Bryce Harper signed with Philadelphia. The remaining Nats could only amass a 19 and 31 record by the end of May. And yet, that same team stayed in the fight, winning the franchise's first ever postseason series. These guys, man, they never give up. Be really happy for them, really happy for the fans. And that brings us to where we are today. The Nationals will soon play in the World Series. And while anything could happen, the last 15 years have certainly shown that it pays to stay optimistic. Who knows? We could soon have another parade going down Constitution Avenue. From Nats Park, John Henry, WUSA 9.